Hi, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today's video is a short practice working on some hold strength. So we're gonna do a few poses where we'll hold for maybe a little bit longer than you sometimes would. Maybe you're used to holding poses for a long time. We're gonna use a yoga brick if you have one. Don't worry if you don't, you can do all of these without one. Um, but I would recommend if you do have one in the house, run and get it now. Great, then when you're ready, we will come to the mat. gonna start lying down to so bring yourself down onto the mat take a moment just letting the body settle into the mat lying however is comfortable and we'll start by tuning in let the eyes gently close and check in and notice how you're feeling within yourself No judgment or expectation, just awareness of how you feel in this moment. Let the awareness come to settle on the breath. And follow the flow of breath in and out of the body. Gently deepening the inhale, lengthening the exhale. Finding a slow, steady rhythm. When you feel ready to move, we're just gonna bend the knees, have the feet on the mat. Have a little gap between the feet and the knees. Arms out at shoulder height, palms facing down. With an exhale, let the knees roll down to the right. Inhale to bring the knees back through center. Exhale, knees down to the left. So we just inhale through center. Exhale to twist. You can add the head in, turning the head in the opposite direction to the knees. Just starting to find a bit of movement through the body. We'll just do one more side to side. Okay. And when you're done, knees back to center. Bring the arms down by the sides. And we're gonna come into a bridge pose. So feet around hip distance, heels as close to the body as is comfortable. Arms down by the sides, palms facing down. We'll start by rolling through bridge. As you inhale, tilt the pelvis, tuck the tailbone under, press through the feet, lift the hips up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, rolling down, bring the hips back down onto the mat. So we inhale, rolling up, lift the hips. Exhale, rolling all the way back down. We'll just do one more like that. Inhale to roll up. And then exhale to roll down. Lovely. We're then gonna grab that yoga brick and pop it between the legs. Again, if you don't have one, don't worry. Just staying with the feet around hip distance apart. And we're gonna press the knees together, squeezing that block between the legs. Feel the inner thighs engaging to our adductors. We're gonna roll up again into our bridge pose. 
So lift the hips up, press through the feet. Then we're gonna hold here for a little while to keep squeezing the block together. Sometimes as well, with a block between the knees, you feel the glutes working even harder to help with that lift of the hips. At any point, if it doesn't feel comfortable where you have the block, just adjust if you need to. And again, if you don't have the block, don't worry. Just really concentrate on letting the knees go in a nice straight line. So from the hips to the knees, try and work on that straight line. Notice if the knees are rolling in or out. Fab. We're gonna take one more breath here. And then nice and slowly, hips coming back down onto the mat. Remove the block for now, just pop it to one side and give the knees a hug in. Give the spine a little rock. Great. And then either rocking to one side to come up or rocking yourself straight up to sitting. We come to sit in Dandasana. Feet stretched out in front, little bend in the knees, sitting up nice and tall. We'll walk the hands forward, folding over the legs. Hands down either side of the legs. We'll keep the hands where they are as we inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, folding forward again. So our inhale lifts and lengthens. Now our exhale folds forward. Great. Just a few more like this in your own time. After this next one, we'll hold that forward fold. Great. So have a good bend in the elbow, shoulders down away from the ears. Chin slightly tucked into the back, the neck is nice and long. So remember with a forward fold, don't worry about the legs being straight. Think more about engaging the muscles, toes heading up towards the ceiling, gently press the heels into the mat. And imagine the crown of your head is gonna lengthen all the way to the tops of the feet. Great stuff. We'll come up to sitting. Grab your block again. Block between both hands. We're gonna reach the arms up. So the block is directly above the head, trying to sit up as tall as you can. Just gonna move my microphone slightly. Great. So squeeze the block together as if you're gonna crush it. If you've not got a block, don't worry, just arms straight up in the air. Again, nice bend in the knees, legs engaged, draw the toes towards you, find length through the spine. Great, you'll find throughout this, your arms want to start coming forward. Keep trying to draw them back, upper arms in line with the ears. Wonderful. And we're gonna see if we can move a little bit forward. It doesn't have to be a big movement, just a centimeter or a couple of centimeters. And try and keep those arms drawing back, pressing the block together with the hands. Holding and breathing. Find that length through the spine. We'll see if we can move a little bit further, even if it's just a millimeter. Notice if those arms are wanting to drop, keep drawing them back. Well done. Last time, little lengthen. See if you can move just a little bit further. Maybe like be your arms are shaking a little bit. <laughs> Don't worry, that's good. Fantastic. Then we'll release the block down. Have a little fold over the legs. Let the back round. Let the shoulders round. Chin tucked in. Great stuff. We'll roll up through the spine. And come into a cobbler pose. Soles of the feet together. Knees rolling out. Hold on to the ankles. You can stay like this 
or if you like that little lean forward, using the elbows to help ease the knees out to the sides. Well, inhale to come up. And we're gonna go into a straddle to take the feet out wide. Great, I'm just gonna adjust so I'm on a bit of an angle. Great, so feet out wide. If you've gone straight to your maximum, just bring the feet back in a little bit. So we want to have some ability to move. So if you've gone straight to that point where you're like gripping on for dear life, going, oh my gosh, then just bring the feet in an inch or so so that it's something that in this moment is relatively comfortable. Toes heading up towards the ceiling. And we want to be slightly rocking forward on our sit bones. With this one, it's quite common to roll back on your sit bones and then the lower back rounds, and it's much harder to move forward from here. So if you rock slightly forwards on the sit bones, tilting the pelvis slightly forward, we have a bit more space to start to move the body forward. You're going to grab your block again, arms up and overhead. Again, I'm just my uh, microphone likes to migrate today. So arms up and overhead. Squeeze the block between the hands, or just reaching the arms up, palms facing. Great. Try and keep those legs engaged. Think about lengthening right from the base of the spine. Great. You can stay here or a little tilt forward. So keep trying to lengthen up. So when I say a movement forward, we're not rounding forward, we're still lengthening through the spine. That tilt coming right from the base of the spine, even if it's just a millimeter. Great. We're gonna move again, a little tilt forward. Keep finding length through the spine. Nice, sturdy breath. Well done, once more. Little tilt forward, keep drawing the arms back. Well done, then pop the block down, walk the hands in, good work. Hold on around the back of the legs and bring the legs in towards you. Give everything a little wriggle. We'll spin the feet round and come to tabletop position. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Our inhale is looking up, send the heart forward. Exhale, round the back. Cat cow, inhale. And exhale. Great, just a couple more like this. And then we'll come to a neutral spine. Take the hands about a handspan in front. We're gonna come into a plank. If you know plank is not a good one for you, stick with the knees down, bring the weight forwards, maybe a little bit beyond the wrists, and then just think about pushing up away from the mat. If you're happy with plank, toes tucked under, we lift the knees up. So notice what happens with your hips. Are they lifting high and you're coming back more towards a downward facing dog? Or are they dropping down like gravity's dragging them to the mat? Try and come to a round center. Little tuck of the tailbone. Great. Push up away from the mat. Nice sturdy breaths. I've got to say plank is not my forte. I'm already wanting to put my knees down. We'll just take a couple more breaths here. Well done, stick with it. Good 
Great, then nice and slowly lower all the way down to your front. Good work. We'll come into a cobra, baby cobra, or any back bend of your choice. Lovely. And then lower all the way back down. Press through the hands. Sit back to the heels, ancestral worship. Have a little rest back. hands in towards you. We'll spin the feet round and then coming all the way back to lying on our backs. Great. Once you're lying on your back, knees bent, feet on the mat. And we're going to cross the right leg over the left leg. Arms out at shoulder height. Push through the foot to slide the hips slightly to the right and let the knees roll down to the left. Gaze could be up or turning the head over the right shoulder. At any point, if it's not comfortable twisting with legs crossed, just uncross and stack the knees instead. And think about sending the breath right into that right rib cage. Find space through the torso. back through center. Great. Uncross the legs. Take a moment, have a little wriggle if you need to. And then we cross the left leg over the right leg. Again, arms at shoulder height. Slide the hips slightly to the left. And let the knees roll down to the right. Gaze could be up or turning the head over the left shoulder. And remember at any point, if you want to uncross and stack the knees instead, feel free. center, uncross the legs, finishing with reclining cobbler, soles of the feet together, let the knees roll out, hands could rest on your center, out to the sides, or taking the arms up and overhead, 
holding on to opposite elbows. As you lie here, really tune into the breath. Let the eyes close. Draw the awareness in. Notice the breath. Steady inhale, smooth exhale. Try to recall how you felt at the beginning of the practice and just be aware of any changes. Whatever those are, whatever stands out for you, just awareness of any changes. Just moving gently. I'm going to pop the hands under the legs, draw the knees back in, give the knees a little hug in, give the spine a rock. And then maybe rocking up to sitting or rocking to one side to come up. Great. Well, I hope you enjoyed that practice. Do let me know how you got on, leave me any comments and please subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you here again soon. Om Shanti.